I think that it is way past time to clean this aquarium for the first time and also to add some fishes. A lot of things happened since I built this aquarium and I don't really know from where should we start, so uh, let's just state the obvious. The front glass looks terrible because it is so dirty with algae, so that's why I bought the algae scraper, you see. And I will use that to clean this front panel for the first time. And also, you see plants. I already cut the plants multiple times, but the aquarium is still fully grown, you see. I still need to trim more and make it a bit less clutter. Now these, I have four new fishes inside. Unfortunately, I still didn't get beta, but I will explain the situation in regards to that in a moment. The reason this bag with fishes was floating inside of the aquarium is to equalize the temperature of water in aquarium with the water in their bag, because once you drop them in this aquarium, you don't want them to get uh, shocked by a uh, thermal difference in between the water temperatures. So that is why we always do that. This thing, I added this temporarily because I need to remove this front, I mean this top lid with light in order to access the aquarium, but I still want to have light, so that's why I installed this just temporarily. Let me just put you here for a moment, so I can remove this and the lid. Excellent! Now we can proceed. You see on top, this plant spread everywhere and it is creating a bit of shade inside, so I will definitely also need to trim it down significantly to increase the visibility in this front area of the aquarium. I don't mind the plant being on the back, but it always just floats here in the middle for some reason. I mean, most likely because of the flow of the water on top, something like that. Oh, look at this guy. This party craving for attention. He was bopping with his head just a second ago, but he stopped now. <laughs> Okay, oh, and I should actually close this. Forgot about that because I was feeding him a while ago. Now back to the aquarium. Definitely before I do anything or talk about anything, I need to clean the glass because you cannot really see well inside. And maybe I should turn off the lights around the aquarium in order to be able to see in the aquarium better because you see there is a lot of reflection. You can actually see uh, these things, all of these enclosures in the reflection. Hmm, just a second. Is there still a, still a reflection? Okay, not that much, but it is a bit better. So, as I said, scraping comes first. And I need to remove this because underneath we have a blade, you see? With this blade we actually scrape the algae off the glass. So, be aware that I'm doing this for the first time. So, yeah, I'll probably be super clumsy or whatever. Gotta get this out of the way. And I guess we just go. All right. Can you, ooh, you see the the algae floating inside. Can you see the difference? Look from this angle. This is where I scraped and this is where I didn't scrape. <laughs> crazy, crazy. Okay, let's continue. Oh man, this is so easy and so effective. I cannot believe. I thought that it will be a bit harder to scrape, but nope, super easy. I'm also scraping the the snails from the glass in the same time. You see, this is the scraped off algae. I think that shrimps will eat that eventually. I'm hoping that that's the case. Oh, the difference. Yes. I'm not sure how big the difference is on the camera, but in reality, the difference is so huge. Now you can see far better inside. Let's remove the top plant, as I was saying, that is blocking the light, and then it will be even better. I won't be really thinking too much about this and how to do it, because this plant is growing like crazy, and even if I don't cut it good, it will still regrow, from what I can tell. Also, I will need to cut these long plants, you see how far they go out of the water. <laughs> All right, this is now a hell of a difference, right? We can finally see stuff inside well. And I think that I should definitely cut down this and this plant. But I'm not sure if I would like to do that now because I want this for the, the paludarium that I'm building. And if I cut it now, I won't be able, I will not be able to keep it alive. So maybe I will leave it as it is. But when I start setting up the water section in paludarium, I will cut it 
like significantly, maybe on half of this. I will definitely remove this piece. I will cut this on half for sure. Yeah, it will be even more open. And check this out now. Shrimps are already, already feasting on the algae scraps. You see here and also here and over there. They are going to town on them. <laughs> and since we are talking about shrimps, I have actually a lot of things to say. A lot of things happened in the meantime. Originally, when I added them to the enclosure, there was around maybe 20 ish, 25, I'm not really sure, but quickly I noticed that they are actually dying off. Every time, every day when I would come here in the morning, I would found one shrimp dead. And I was like really worried that setup is not good for them, that water perimeters are maybe not good for them because why are they dying off if water perimeters are good even though every time i would test the water with these uh, test strips the water would be fine but these are not super precise so i was worrying that maybe that is the problem but then i noticed that some baby shrimps that were added to the aquarium originally that they were growing fine and developing so i, I was thinking that babies are usually far more fragile than adults so if babies are not dying and adults are dying, then it must mean that water perimeters are good. But that didn't really convince me too much. And then I started noticing adults with eggs. The females would actually carry the eggs underneath their tail, I would say. I don't know, the big part of their body. Underneath I could spot uh, multiple females carrying eggs and they were always doing some stuff to it. They were like shaking them and moving them around, which was really cool to see and really promising. I was hoping that uh, those eggs will actually hatch. And thankfully that was exactly what happened. One day I came here to find the explosion of population of shrimps. Babies were everywhere and sometimes I would be able to count like 30 shrimps just in this front section. Let's just actually now count how many we can see at this very moment. I'm gonna check just this front area. So let's start here. Here is one. If we continue, we can see second over there, third, fourth and fifth right here. Seventh is actually going swimming around. Eight over there, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And that is just the ones that I spotted immediately. If I would look more thoroughly, I would definitely find more here. Not to mention how many there are on the rocks, in these plants and way behind. The amount of shrimps I have now inside is crazy, insane. But shrimps weren't the only animal that had a booming population inside of the aquarium. Snail population also exploded like crazy. I actually have two species of snails inside. And since I noticed that, I realized that I only have Two options. First option would be getting a special snail that actually eats other snails and second options would be to kill all of the snails that I can see and just let shrimps eat their bodies. I mean transform snails into a shrimp food and that is exactly what I did. Every time I would come here all the snails that I would find on the front glass I would just no matter how big or small they were, I would just squeeze them, instantly killing them, and then shrimps would eat them completely. And that really helped because there aren't that many snails left, but there is still a lot of them in the back hiding. So now I can let them multiply a bit more and then do the same thing. Not the prettiest solution, but the most effective. But then I noticed some other creatures lurking in the aquarium, and those were these weird looking worms that were crawling across the glass and I didn't really know what they are so I asked people on the Instagram if I should be worried and it appears that they are not really problematic for fishes but they can be problematic for shrimps because they can attack and kill shrimps so therefore I applied similar technique of getting rid of them I would just squeeze them with my finger and pull them out of the aquarium and crush them between my fingers and now I no longer see them anywhere. Every now and then I can spot some, but it is not that often. And apparently they can appear if you are overfeeding the enclosure, which I was indeed doing because I wanted to have extra food for shrimps. I didn't really know how many shrimps I have, so therefore I always dumped 
more food than fish can eat just so shrimps got something extra to eat now i think that it is finally time to show you the fishes that i got and add them to aquarium and then we can feed these tetras because i think that they are super eager to eat you see that they are super active swimming around every time i would do something like this they would just be like, um, hum, hum. Food? Where is the food? Where is the food? Should there be some food floating around or what? So yeah, they are eager to be fed. Uh, what I got? Unfortunately, I still didn't get uh, betta fish as I originally wanted. This aquarium is actually meant for the betta, but I still don't have betta fish. Instead, I got some cleaning type fishes, but you cannot really see them well inside of this plastic. I actually have two of these species and two of yellow ones that are there is no way that i can show them now i'll just need to get them in the aquarium so just a second first let me add a bit of aquarium water inside also to acclimate them um there enough time passed so we can proceed with this i am hoping that they won't just hide immediately and that i will be able to show them a bit okay i got the first one look at this little body this is the cleaning fish and this one actually apparently should clean the substrate can i get you out little buddy with just one hand oh there we go first one is inside great let's get the others here they are one two three and you see these two are actually yellowish or orangish i don't know in you go oh yeah <laughs> first one inside and two more Come on guys, help me out a bit. Swim in the other direction, come on. Oh, yes, yes, and last one. Ah, great. You see, this is what I wanted. These are actually cleaning the glass. So here is one. Here is the second one. <laughs> Looking so cool. Vroop, 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 vroop. I love this section, but sorry buddy, currently you won't be able to find algae on this front glass, you will need to go to sides. And this last one is also chilling in the plant, so I will now need to let them acclimate to the environment to figure stuff out. In the meantime, we can feed the tetras, yeah, check out their excitement. Come fishies! As soon as they figure it out, you see they figured it out now. <laughs> I just go crazy <laughs> want a bit more yes they want more more food go 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 they are so fast it is so hard to track them with camera oh look he figured out where algaes are and the other is down here hanging with the shrimps look how shrimps are munching on the algae and also on fish food you see they like to eat everything they are basically the cleanup crew in here Ah, sweet. This red shrimp is really pretty, right? Oh, this guy is now actually going to explore. Nice, check him out. You are right where we want you. You see, they have a little mustache. <laughs> pretty sweet. Yeah, eat whatever you like. Anyhow. Oh, and now we have this guy. Now, basically, in this shot, we have all the four uh inhabitants main inhabitants in this aquarium not counting the snails now to explain you why i still didn't get a betta fish it is really simple reason i still didn't manage to find one that i really like but hopefully that will soon change because in two or three weeks one specialized fish store in zagreb the capital of croatia will be getting a batch of new betta fishes and if i'm quick enough I will be able to pick from the previous ones and hopefully, hopefully then I will get one for this aquarium, hopefully. So I will let you guys know when that happens. Anyhow, this was everything for this aquarium video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, thumbs it up and comment something. If you want to support this channel even more, there's a Patreon page and merch page. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. I upload every Monday. So see you again in a week. Bye.